Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about overloading. The main concept of overloading is to use multiple function with the same name but with different parameter. Let's suppose that we have two function and this two function is called sum. For example, this is the first one and here also another function called sum. But the first one has two parameter x and y and all this as an integer and the third one has three parameter which is x y and z so this is called overloading two function with the same name sum but with different parameter here we have two parameter while the second one has three parameter but sometimes the different with the that type also something like x string y as string in this case if we compare the first one with the third one both of them called sum both of them has two parameters but the main difference with the data type of the parameters the first one as an integer while the second one as string so let's try an example of how can we use overloading in kotlin let's suppose that we have class called abc with a function sum and this function sum has two parameter x as an integer and y as an integer okay and the first one brentlin x plus y while the second one also called sum but with three parameter x as an integer y as an integer and also z as an integer and the result will be the total of those three variables x y and z now if we use the main function and we try to create an object in the main function something like var a equal a b c now a dot sum when you try to select sum you have two choices sum with two parameters and another one with three parameters so in the first parameters two five in this case because you have put only two variables it will call the first one which is uh, the first function sum but what about to use the second one five for example four and three in this case it will call the second one which is the function sum with three parameter in this case if we try to uh, run this example i will get 7 and 12. let's see this example run as you see here we have got 7 and 12. 7 is the output of the first function and 12 the output of the second function okay so in this video we have talked about the concept of overloading and how can we implement this concept using the kotlin programming language see you the next video